just nearly fall over. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello. I'm out in a pine forest with uh, Mr. Muddy Paws over there, who's trying to make a bit of room for his hammock. Um, it's John and I at the moment. Rob is uh, Rob's going to arrive later. The wild camper. He's got some commitments today, so uh, he'll be along a little bit later tonight. But, uh, John and I have been mooching through the forest and we found this little spot that we think is cosy enough. Um, we're having an overnight camp. Going to be doing a bit of product testing. Um, I have that uh, hammock from uh, East Hill, East Hills Outdoors, the Skyloft hammock, which I'll get out in a little bit. Um, that I've that I've set up and put up in a previous video and had a look at what was in the bag, but uh, tonight will be the uh, the true test of it because I'm going to try and sleep in it, and we'll see how that goes. Um, John's providing food, so we're going to make some kind of stew. I've brought a uh, crusty loaf from the baker's and some nice butter, so we're going to eat well tonight. We've got, we're in a pine forest, so we've got to dig some kind of fire pit out. I need to dig down um, through the through the pine duff and all, so that we're not uh, risking any fires. That being said, it's done nothing but rain for the last two or three weeks here, and uh, we've walked through puddle after puddle, so this place is soaked, and the ground's very undulating, um, so it does kind of make an ideal spot for a hammock. But it's, it's mid-afternoon now, um, so we're not in any great rush to set up. But uh, yeah, so tea time. Do you want tea, John? Oh, do I? I think I'm supposed to be making it. Come and say hello, John. Hello, John. Hello, John. So uh, what, what hammock do you have this evening? I have a DD Frontline oh, yeah. hammock. It'd be good to see them side by side, I suppose, wouldn't it? For yeah. Comparison purposes. I used to have the bivy. The first one I bought was the bivy one, which you can put on the floor. Oh yeah. But um, it doesn't breathe very well, so you wake up in the morning quite well, soggy. <laughs> <laughs> you question what happened to you in the night. <laughs> Shouldn't have had that last beer. But yeah, I think John's going to uh, give me some tips on putting the hammock up right. Um, I do have an under blanket because it's a bit chilly. Um, all the gear. <laughs> and no idea. So yeah. Happy days. Right, I'm going to put the kettle on. PCB stove out again. It's rapidly becoming one of my favourite bits of kit. I've got the gel blocks rather than the uh, ow, rather than the, um, the gel itself, just because they're kind of easy. And one block seems to be roughly enough to boil some water. Classic, classic fruitcake is on the menu. This is living. <coughs> Till I cut my leg. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Nice. Yeah, I've heard the inner thigh makes a really good uh, <laughs> chopping board. Chopping board. <laughs> Nothing important there, is there? Mm. Just what doctor ordered. Oh, sticky. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Mm. Salute. Nice heaven. Tea and cake. Mm. That's good. Mm, just showing about the road. <coughs> mm. So we can hear a road over there. I haven't been here. It's over a year since I've been here. Mm. This was the first place I camped with Rob and John. It's, it's very romantic. It's a special place in my heart. I could tell you didn't trust us back then because you brought a tent. <laughs> I zipped myself in. <laughs> Done it out with cable ties. Put a padlock on it. That was when I had to leave it. Six oh, yeah, in the morning. You, you arrived late and you mm. left early. I took that really personally. <laughs> right. Yes. Skyloft ultralight all in one hammock tent system. Let's get it going. Yeah, the sun's just gone down. So not long until dark. So I've got to get a shift on. I bought a couple of carabiners because I saw someone else put this tarp up on the YouTube and they use these to secure it to the tree and I thought that's a good idea. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to go tarp first and hammock second. It's my friend Lee at Burton Outdoors does it that way and he's a regular hammocker. So we'll do it his way and see what happens. As I said in previous videos, right, this hammock tent system from East Hill Outdoors is um, when you buy it, you get everything in the pack. So this is the tarp. It has pre-attached paracord. It comes with pegs, it comes with the hammock and the bug net and the tree straps, um, which I think, you know, f for beginners getting into hammocking, that's a, that's a hell of a deal. I think it's about 69 pounds on Amazon. The link will be in the description if you want to have a look. Um, I guess it'll be dependent on how I sleep and whether it stays up and all that sort of business but on the face of it it looks like a really good deal because you haven't got to buy separate things the only thing I've bought separate for this is the under blanket um, which, I, which I picked up a, a cheap one it's not it's not the best thing in the world but it's something just to keep me warm but yeah let's see if we can get this up reasonably reasonably quickly. <coughs> so I wonder if I can just you know, clip a carabiner on, wrap it round said tree. you John. Sorry? <laughs> I was just wondering if these carabiners will work like that. Because you can tension it at the oh, top, okay. can't you? Because yeah. it has these these little tensioning things which I'll show you in a second. Pegs. <clears throat> yeah. 
that's good enough. It's uh, rapidly getting dark, so swiftly moving on to the hammock, I think. Right. I gave up uh, trying to film the putting up the hammock because it got dark very quickly. But um, yeah, I have put it up in a separate video, which I'll link at the end if you want to have a look at that. Um, that runs through exactly what's in the bag and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, the hammock itself is set up. I've got my under blanket on, sleeping bags in there. Um, the only problem with the under blanket is this, this part, which helps open the hammock, but it means the under blanket doesn't come up around the edge. So I may just unpeg these for tonight because it's cold. Um, but we'll see, we'll see, one thing at a time. Uh, things I missed out last time is this little uh, gear organizer which I've put on the wrong way round. That's better. Huh. Yeah, this slides, this comes with the hammock. Yes, yeah, so there's two pockets there for small things. There's a bigger pocket and then there's also a long pocket in there to slide a bottle of water and um, yeah I didn't show that on the uh, what's in the bag video but uh, yeah this hammock also comes with a bug net but it's not very buggy tonight so it's got its own little stuff sack up here the bug net zips in but I've tucked it out of the way for tonight because I don't think I'm gonna need it and obviously I mentioned the tree straps that come with it and they are doing their job yeah, so that is that is a set up About digging a fire pit, John. Warms you twice. <laughs> oh dear. Uh. Oh, saw a spark then. Which way loosens it? Ah, come now. Do I think it's when I'm with you, John. You intimidate me so much. <laughs> I can't light a fire. Performance anxiety. Yeah. Come on. Smolder. Broke my smolder. Ah, I didn't even realise. I was too busy fighting off a mosquito. You see the episode of The Simpsons with the, the X Files in it. And uh, Fox Smolder has it, drops his ID badge and he's like in a, in a bathing costume. Special Agent oh, Fox Mulder. Red bathing suit. Is he lying down? On yeah. God. Hopefully Rob should be able to see the welcome beacon. Move 
bonfire. Yep. Start melting. I'm hot now. It's only about five, would it? Keeps you warm three times. <laughs> Four if you can't dig in the pit. <coughs> it's cold, doesn't it? It's not warm. Yeah, so uh, we're obviously waiting on Rob. He's in the forest somewhere. He's text to say he's here and he's walking around. And that was probably 10, 15 minutes ago. Yeah, oh, 20 minutes ago. The fires are light. We've got a healthy pile of wood now and um, John's just starting to stew. We've got a rabbit and all that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, John's cooking tonight so I'm just a wee drink. What are you doing with it now? So that's the veg sweated off, so that's going to go in with the rabbit. Yeah. Problem. <coughs> Billy number two. We'll wait for you, Rob. Yeah. <coughs> venison sausages. So, uh, Rob has arrived. Hello. It's been an eventful <laughs> ascent. Yeah. <laughs> Down into the woods. Okay. There you go. Happy birthday, old boy. That's me. Yeah, wrapping paper Ooh, chosen pink, specially. Is oh, is that to match my eyes, is it? It was Rob's Magic birthday a short time, time ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm even, even older. Even you think I am. With a belated present. Hello. Is it a she-wee? Ooh. You're spoiling me. I hope that's what I think it is. It'd be nice if it is. Show the, uh, show the good people. I've shown the good people. This, I know what it is. It's a little lantern-y thing, which I quite like. And I've always uh, admired these. Ta-da! Beautiful. I'm going to use that tonight, because I haven't got my lantern with me. So that's perfect. Thank you to the good people at the catalog. And you know what? I couldn't find a pillow, and I did, I've, I'm doing a review tonight on a, on a sleeping bag. And oh, it's got the slot, it's hasn't it? It's got a slot, and the pillow I've, I have forgotten at home is too big for it. So hopefully oh, this will work. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, thank you, chaps. It's the same one as the one that we've both got. Oh, Jeez. matching pillows. <laughs> Best way, oh yes. It is really comfy. That looks really nice. It feels, feels <coughs> nice and snug. Oh, lovely. Do I blow it up through the red bit? Yeah. yeah. The red arse. Oh, God. 
Oh. It's about three there. Perfect. Oh. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very kind. <coughs> um, well, tell you what, Dan. This is, this is from myself and John for right. your 50th birthday. But we'd like you to read it out in your voice when you open it, okay? In, in my voice? In your, yeah. voice. In your voice. In your voice. In your voice. No one else's voice, I obviously. think I know what it's going to say. Do you? <coughs> <laughs> it's your man shed. Hello and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was worth it. It was so worth it. Hello and welcome to Camp Life Bushcraft. Established 2017. I hope that's right. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'd I think, think it's you're right. about. It must be about that. Thank what? you. That's what it says on your, uh, on your about on your YouTube. So. I, uh, I recently put up a shed in my garden. Or I should say my wife put up a shed in my garden. Because um, I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Uh, for all my camping stuff which has uh, taken over the house somewhat so this is going to hang on the uh, the outside thank you very much You're very welcome you spelt bushcraft wrong yeah yeah right <laughs> oh brushcraft <laughs> well i i had someone who's quite good at english uh, check it over so it's not my fault <coughs> oh, you can throw away the receipt that's inside i've just seen poking Delicately. Uh, that. That. Cool, thank you. Pounds worth every penny. Right. Hello and welcome. These guys, uh, you've got to go back to it now. <laughs> you have, it's the law. It was a bad catchphrase, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's great. great. Hello and welcome. But, uh, yeah, I stopped using it a little while ago because I got a complex, but uh, it's coming out the bag now. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> good. Yeah, no, that'd be good. <sighs> right. That's a good sigh, that was. That was a great one. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Hello and oh. welcome. <laughs> Do you see the abuse I suffer? He deserves it, I'm sure you all agree. Yes. One of your lovely subscribers commented on your video about how well you cooked that turkey. So I, I chimed in and said, yes, yeah, because me and him told him how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did see that comment that you yeah. said because you had two people helping. I, I seem to remember you arrived late for a change. I, I liked. I liked the comment of um, Rob and John in the background with the MREs, sort of get slipping them back into the. Yeah, that's quite good. So that was, well done, whoever that was. That's my favourite comment. Yes, you should star that or whatever yeah. it is. Highlight pin it. Pin, pin it. Pin it to the top. There you go. See, I'm no YouTube. I will do. I will do. I'm not like the uh, the nicest guy on YouTube. Where's Tink, by the way? Because that's what everyone is asking. She's in uh, Bognor Regis. Oh, she's on holiday? Yeah. With, um, what's the other dog called? Jimmy. 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 All right. Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. yeah, they've all gone down. They're down for the weekend, staying at the mother-in-law's. <coughs> oh, treat. Oh, you didn't want to go? <coughs> eh? You didn't want to go? Oh, I did. I love going there. I get fed. Mm. But, uh, but no, I was busy. You wanted to hang out in the woods with some men? Yeah, two strange men in the woods. Strange is the word. I did question my sanity as I uh, as I drove down that lane. I thought, what am I doing? I could be at home in bed and I'm straight from work and straight back out tomorrow. See, it's easy. I'll just I'll just do your video. You can just put me in and yeah. That's I'm just sitting here. It's easy. Yeah, so let's cut up a bit more firewood because we're burning through it because it's pine, so it doesn't last very long. John's frying the steak, and uh, I think we're going to uh, steak a bug. I think we're going to put the uh, put the stew together in a sec, mm. and, um, and then it'll be eating time. Right, let's go and see what's going on over here in the cooking section. 
What you doing? Just uh, finishing off browning the steak. What did you just add to it? Ginger? No, a bit of garlic okay. and black pepper. Nice. <clears throat> Pardon me. Pardon you indeed. That looks good. Smells pretty good as well, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So are we there, are we? Mm. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Just need to uh, need to do something. Some assembling. Yeah, I don't know if it's... <coughs> if it's worth... Slopping, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Need a bigger pot. Well, you're the expert. So what we got? Rabbit in there. We've got rabbit in there. That's got the sausages and some veg in it. And steaks there. So really all three need thrown together. I would say we empty my pot into the this pan. Yeah, because I don't really want tomato you. in there. No, and then divide yours there in half. You want me to do it? Yeah. yeah. Go on, Dad. You take over. <coughs> um, this gloves are good. Cool. But we don't get, where we're going, we don't need gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Wow. You got a ladle? No. <laughs> I might just have to pour and hope for the best. <clears throat> oh. Oh, <laughs> serious face. <laughs> Blooper reel. Was that recording? Oh, don't hold on to me. Is it recording? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is serious, he says. See, that's what happens when you don't buy the Helenox version. Disappears. <laughs> it's going to go again. That was perfect timing. Come on, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I let go? It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I just oh yeah, now it gets out a big knife. <laughs> yeah. Great. I just sat down a bit Bloody fast. Hell, mate. Nice. We've got bread, so I I saw it. we need to cut the bread. Oh, that's warm now. Nice. Oh, God, that was funny. You guys have outdone yourselves. <laughs> I almost wish I was doing a video. What did you bring? Am I? Uh, <laughs> right. You did actually for breakfast. Mind yourselves. Hey. All day breakfast. Yeah, I had one left. <clears throat> that's all right, that's working. Working a treat. I don't think it for a treat. It should go for a loaf of bread, right? Is there anything it can't do? <laughs> that one a little bit thin. <laughs> a joke. It does quite well. It does, doesn't it? You'll be using that at home now. I will, yeah. <laughs> that manly life. Manly bread. Life. Well, oh, it smells amazing. It does, oh my it? god. I have had today. <laughs> A ropey old sandwich from the <laughs> shop, like a BLT, which, yeah, I think it saw a pig That's once. A stir. Yeah. And a bag of crisps. And that was about three o'clock. Healthy. Cool, that does smell good. That does smell mm -hmm. amazing. There are bones in here, because mm. John was too lazy to do anything about them. God, such a hot so you've got venison sausage, yep. rabbit, steak, steak, and steak as well. Yeah. God, these guys are seriously spoiling me. Oh, I've left my spork somewhere. <coughs> Don't kick anything over. It's cold. What do you reckon <coughs> it was for above tonight? Yeah. Mind that. Mind the boot. 
Red wine in there, do you? Oh, Christ. <laughs> right, it's been a long day. Someone's got a problem. <laughs> yeah, well, I've had many problems. <laughs> That's all right. Right, give, give us a bowl then. Let's see oh, if we can. I'm really looking forward to this, mate. See if we can dish you up. It smells amazing. I've got to deliver with the pudding. That's my. So I'm talking to your camera. That's right. It's going to be my video now. Closer. Closer. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to put that over your leg, aren't you? I'm trying not to. Christ, what the hell is that? It's a rabbit leg. The trouble is. Yeah, you need a. Spin, how yeah. the hell are we going to dish this out? Well, just need to pour it. Don't I? Yeah, just man up. Jono. Oh, it's like you're eating out of an ice cream really tub. Rich yeah. gravy. Oh. Okay. Which is exactly what it is. Wow, that's amazing. Just you put a bit of red wine in there as well. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole rabbit in there. Yeah, that, that'll do me. I've been eating rabbit for years. Mm -mm -mm. It's full. It's empty. No, no, it's got plenty. And there's oh. special butter. Oh, okay. So how does one spread it? You just, <laughs> you just gonna smooth it on. Oh. Am I spreading it for you? Okay. You might have done everything else for me today. Oh, oh, no. Don't slice my wrist for God's sake. Okay. It's amazing flavour. All right. Mm. Well done, guys. Top job. Mm. Mm. It's almost as good as an MRE. <laughs> <coughs> Joke. Oh. What's the verdict, chef? It's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. damn good, isn't it? The oh, bread is just steak. Like, oh, yeah. Rabbit stomach. I'm going to leave it to the end and then chew it on the end. You're lucky there's a fire between us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's about 11 o'clock. Dinner was, what time is it? Half eleven. It's half eleven. It's about eleven o'clock. And uh... Got to on the slug. It's about half eleven. It's <laughs> drowning a slug. What a way to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's very. That I that's very special. Hello. I'm a special guy. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to Camp Life Bushcraft. <coughs> so it's about. Hello. Oh, you your camera. Sorry. It's about twelve o'clock. Half seven. <laughs> Dinner was lovely. 25 to 12. I know. Oh, so. Yeah, start that again now. <coughs> it's about one o'clock. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I've got a slug in here. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, do you know? I'm going to get this out if it kills me. <laughs> I'm still in trouble. It's, it's about half eleven. Oh, it's bloody freezing. And uh, it's cold. It's colder than the witch's tit, isn't it? Stop swearing on my, not on swearing. my, on my YouTube channel. On YouTube I channel? I can't say yanks, can't say tit. <coughs> oh, it's well come to. <coughs> yes. <sighs> so, <laughs> Brexit, are we in or are we out? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's. Uh, You've got to be topical. <laughs> trying to put them off here. How it's much tape have you got in that machine? <laughs> so I've got about three and a half hours left. And I'm going to just sit here saying it's half eleven. Go on, right, start again. <coughs> Seriously. I'll, no, look, I'll look wistfully into all the All this fire. is going in. That's okay. I've got no issue with that. I love you Americans, you know that. I'm what I do. But I'm I do. not American. I wasn't talking to you, I'm talking to your American viewers who are valued. <sighs> yeah, We've got so American food tonight, <laughs> haven't we? <laughs> American chocolate. It's uh, <sighs> paid good money for that. <laughs> right, I'll shut that. It's about quarter to twelve. <laughs> and uh, dinner was very nice, thanks mm. John. That's mm. all I wanted to say. 
It was very good, mate. Cheers, well big ears. John's Cheers. moved away from the fire because we stoked it up and we got hot. Mm. But it's it's bitterly cold now. Yeah, it's a bit chilly. I'm a bit worried about being chilly in the hammock. But uh, I've got my special asbestos underpants to put on. Keep me warm. I need them. And, uh, and we're having pudding, mm. which Rob may or may not have mentioned. A couple of times, maybe. Bread and butter. Chocolate chips. What was it? Brioche. Custard. Yeah, brioche. Brioche, bread, bread and butter. Butter. Yeah. Be custard. Sweet. It should be very sweet. And some chocolate if we want it, but we'll see. But yes, the um, the oh. wine is going down a tree. Yeah, on that note. We've been... Fill me up, please. Drinking out of this bottle. The coat throughout this is going to kill me tomorrow morning. Uh, see if you can pour it over your trousers. Can't work out where the tap is. It's not difficult, mate. Just press the button. <laughs> oh, 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 we've got a sprayer. <laughs> oh, you don't see that very often, guys and girls. Oh, oh, oh it's everywhere. <laughs> God. God, that brings up memories. Right. <laughs> oh, no. It's quite enough. Oh, I'm so oh God. Yes. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not saying anymore. I'm not saying anymore. Uh, it's a, it's a family-friendly channel. Isn't that right? Whoa. Indeed, it is. The custom's going. Oh, don't do that. Ah. So Rob's in charge of pudding. He's got custard in a, so in a saucepan. <sighs> and uh, I can't speak anymore. Yeah. Needless to say, I'm having a lovely time. I'm having a grand old time. It's about quarter to twelve. Dinner was very nice. I'm really tempted to move your chair up. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> just, just throw Feel it that free. way. God, it's so hot, I can't get, can't get close. There's gloves somewhere. We need gloves. Oh, they were in the woodpile. I think I might have them on the fire. They're in the woodpile, aren't they? No, I moved them. They were. I moved them. I forget where. I'm just being manly. I think it burned my hand. <sighs> this video is filled with quality content. Oh, yes. I this, is it. this is real, though. This I can only apologise. <laughs> Four hours of drinking tea and eating cake. Should we try this pudding? Should we see if it's there? You're wasting away, lads. This chair is. This sorry chair's to give you a bad news, but you're in the best position for it. The cake. Well, I'll let you walk around. Thanks, mate. Let's oh, yeah. see how she's looking. Uh, I'll do another glove. glove. I don't want to burn my precious hands. Oh. That looks hot. So slug, but it toasted. <laughs> Rabbit. Can I have that twig with it? I reckon that's alright. It's steaming. A bit longer. Oh. What's uh, what are the lumps on it? Uh, rabbit poo. Yeah. Right. Oh, smells nice. Ready for bed. John gave me a hammocker's tip. It's for uh, hanging your jacket. Zipping it over the foot end of the hammock to keep your tootsies warm. So I've employed that method. And I was going to change and all that, but I think I'm just going to fall in because it's gone midnight and I'm very tired. Right. Let's get in this.
not too bad. like this thing though. That is good. Big fan of that. So, yeah. I see you bright and early in the morning. Uh, good morning, good morning. I slept quite well. Uh. <sighs> I was just saying to John, it took me a while to figure out comfy position. I think it was more in my head than anything. I'm trying to work out because I like sleeping on my side. <coughs> But, yeah, I went off after a little while, probably. I woke up once or twice, but <coughs> this morning, I say it's eight o'clock now. I think I last woke up at, I woke up at six for a wee, but I got back in and I thought, well, I said I probably won't sleep now. And I, that, I've been sound since then, and uh, yeah, really comfy. <sighs> so I'm not against it at all. Sometimes when I lay on, when I sleep on the floor, I wake up with pain in my hip where uh, where I'm on my side, but. Mm. I have no pain in my hip, but my back doesn't hurt. I was a bit worried, I thought I might end up with a backache or something, but it's it's all good. So, <sighs> yeah, very happy. Trouble is, I've got to pack it all up now. And uh, that's going to take a little while. So oh, I probably should get up and get coffee and stuff going. Still got my head torch on. <laughs> oh, I think I was a little bit drunk last night. Just a little bit. <sighs> yeah, I really like this. I think it's wonderful. It, uh, I've had my phone in there on charge and had my drink. And I, I should have put my head torch in there, but I forgot. Wow, yeah. 
Oh, I'm really comfortable now. I don't want to get out. Yeah, I was warm enough as well. Where's my under blanket? That did its job. All these things are a bit unknown, so I was a bit concerned about being cold, being uncomfortable. But all was well. Right, time to get up. I didn't, I don't think I made it into this bit of coat because my no. feet were kind of sticking out the side. Oh, right. But yeah. That army bag is <coughs> fine anyway. As you say, yeah, there's um, the pressure on the bottom of it, but because they were sticking out the side, oh, right. they were just, they were just fine. And <coughs> I, put, I put my warm socks on for bed as well. Yeah, I did the same. That's about all I could manage though. <laughs> I had I had like, under layers and stuff I was gonna be putting on yeah. sleeping and I just went. I mean oh, it's calm, isn't it? So, <clears throat> my, uh, my overriding thoughts on the hammock, right? I really, really like it. Genuinely, I do. Um, as I said earlier, getting to sleep was, was awkward because I wasn't used to being in a hammock. But I've woken up with no back pain, no numb hip nothing like that um, I, slept, I feel like I slept really well the under blanket worked but these parts of the hammock you peg out each side they're sort of offset so that you can get you, give yourself a flatter lay I took them out in the end I think in the summer months they're gonna work fine but with the under blanket they meant that the under blanket was sort of not doing what it was supposed to do. So I took them off so that the under blanket could come up higher. Um, but even, you know, without them in, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, the kit thing that runs along this gear line, that's a stroke of genius. I really like that. There are essentially no real knots you need to be able to tie. That's, that's what struck me because everything, you know, on the tarp as well, there's the tensioners, uh, which are on the corners of the tarp, and then there's the guide rope tensioners halfway along the cord that's, that's built into the tarp. So you can get your cord the, the length you want, 
and then go around and, and tension everything when you're done. So I didn't have to tie a knot putting, in, putting any of this up, which, you know, it wouldn't bother me tying knots, but I think for beginners, I think it's a really good thing. So you can get your tarp nice and taut. Um, you get everything pegged out nicely without needing to study up on how to tie taut line hitches and things like that. So in that, in that side of things, I think is um, they've really done well. And I like the fact that everything is in the bag. The only thing I've added is the under blanket and the two carabiners which I used to put the tarp up. But other than that, it's all there, you know. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm very happy with it. And I will be using it again because I had a great night's sleep. I guess the only thing about it is, like with all hammock stuff, it's a bit of a faff, you know, you're carrying more gear than you would if you were just gonna lay on the floor under a tarp. But the, you get a level of comfort from carrying the extra gear. So it depends what you're into. But yeah, like it. Right, let's take it down. Right, that is the hammock packed. Uh, except for John's just uh, cleaning up the fire while I finish packing and then we're heading out. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching and uh, if you could uh, comment and uh, like the video I would appreciate it. I like to try and get a hundred likes in the first 24 hours because that helps push things up. So if you're someone who watches a video and uh, and then just moves on regardless, maybe just hover over that thumbs up button. That would do me a solid, that would. And uh, If you're not subscribed and you like what I do, then subscribe. That would be, that'd be real nice of you. Anyway, better get on. I'll see you again. <laughs>